Hello guys, Keith Brown TV here. Back for yet another live stream, doing an aftermath for chat. Couldn't do one yesterday because I was knackered. You know I've only had two hours sleep. Literally only had two hours sleep. So yeah, um, I'm definitely going to have to have a lion tonight. Or in the morning, so should I say not tonight. But yeah, hope you guys are doing alright. Drop a like if you haven't already. And also drop a sub. What a performance it was um against derby county last night brilliant performance absolute brilliant performance everyone just stood out for me i love the way i love the what i love the way how we're playing under lee bow yeah it's just a you know we would never do it we wouldn't have, we would have never done this last season but this season, we are we are definitely progressing. Troy Deeney, of course, made his debut coming off the bench. Um, so he didn't actually start the game. But the way that we just bossed Derby, the pressing game that we had, the way we controlled the game, you know, we killed the game off the second goal with a Bella with a lovely finish, taking his time, um, so composed to put it in the back of the net. I thought he did really well, to be honest. I think it was a bit fortunate how the way it fell to him, but you know you've got to have that bit of luck, haven't you? And um, that's what I mean. I wouldn't say we was lucky to win the game. We we one hundred percent deserved to win that game, but I think you know a bit fortunate the second goal. How we just that into the path of Jeremy Bella, but you've got to be there, right place, right time. And that's what Jeremy Bella did. So, yeah. <clears throat> Was planning to do this at 8 o'clock, but of course, I had uh, stuff to do in that, so I delayed it for like 10 minutes. Drop a like if you haven't already, by the way, guys, and also subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated if you can do that and there's been some interesting results in the championship today i mean we've got fulham wednesday night they lost to blackpool one nil and a lot of people were saying that we're not going to get anything against fulham but uh, i mean after that after that result against blackpool i fancy us to get something and of course it's been a crazy day in the premier league cristiano ronaldo's debut for manchester united was just lit but yeah, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about blues, aren't we? Here to talk about blues. And um, I don't know why there's hardly anyone joining, to be honest. Probably because it's a Saturday. But it's not like I'm doing it too early. I mean, someone said try and try and doing them early, but I've tried to do it early, and uh, it's not really worked. So far, anyway, so far. Let's just see if we can get some people in the chat. I don't know where we are in the league now, by the way. We was fourth last night. A couple of teams have won. Coventry um, got a good win against Middlesbrough. 2-0 win. I want to see where we are in the league now. Of course, um, I believe we're only three points off... At Actual top spot now because West Brom and Fulham both drop points, and it's and of course it's um the anniversary of 9 11. Let's try to drop a like if you haven't drew by the way. Seventh, thanks for that. So we're not in the playoffs anymore, but it's really tight, you know, really tight at the top of the table. Yeah, it was a brilliant result the way the players played as well. Even Sarkic played one in that game. Even Sarkic played one in the game against Derby. Like, he seems like a different player to the... Because in pre-season, when he made that mistake against Northampton, I was like, why are we... So, you know, why are we giving him a contract? Yes, Casper, drop a like and drop a sub if you haven't already. Your Fulham dropped points. They actually dropped all three. Lost to Blackpool. And I think, you know... Blues can do something this season. 
No, you know, I have no idea what a celebration was about. I like to say, I like to, I definitely like to know what it was about. It was some, it was something to do with the Derby fans, wasn't it? I don't know. Sheffield United um, scored six against Peterborough. We played Peterborough, I believe, next Saturday. Um, thank you, thank you, like mate, keep right on. So, um, by the way, we had thirty-three percent possession in this game against Derby. Thirty-three percent possession. Um, we had more shots and more shots on target. So we. Um, let me just see. It's going to be a tough game because they're going to be looking to bounce back. Even though they lost today, I still think. I still think um, we could potentially just about lose that game because Fulham are a, a top quality side. I mean, it's their it was their first first, first sorry loss of the season against Blackpool, so. Um, Blackpool had thirty percent possession and won one nil. I mean, Fulham was Fulham was literally all over Blackpool in that game. So, Sheffield United hit Peterborough for six. So yeah, seventh, um, only three points off the top. Um, and I believe have we got Peterborough next? Yeah, we got Peterborough away next Saturday. So, got Peterborough Preston. After the Fulham game, seven points from them. Seven points from nine, definitely take going into because I believe there's an inter there is an international break just round the corner in a month's time. Which um, you think? I, th I thought Mukovic looked. At, is it me or he looked a bit tired in the game against Derby? But yeah, I would like to see that happen. But after that, a Hogan goal. But the thing is, he scored a good goal. But still, he's like he could have scored. He could have scored two, at least two goals last night. I mean, yeah. And people are, you know, he's yeah, he scored three and six, three goals in six games. But I still don't. I still don't think he's good enough. You know. Still don't think he's actually good enough. Um, Troy Deeney as well. What's your thoughts on Troy Deeney? Um, his um, introduction coming off the bench, replacing. Who did he, re he replace? Yukovic, I believe. I believe he replaced Yukovic. But yeah. I don't know where everyone is, you know. I've, I've, I've told people that I'm live. I said I said I was going to be live just after. Well, I said eight, I did say eight o'clock, but you know I'm running a teeny bit. I run a teeny bit late, but um. So yeah, I mean, if anyone knows what Hogan celebration was about, I mean, drop it in the um. Drop it in um the live chat. By the way, I've had no sleep, literally. Well, I've had two hours, two hours of sleep, so. And I'm still, well, I am a, a bit more tired than usual, but, you know, it's not like I'm going to, I don't feel like I'm going to fall asleep. Yeah, Swansea City, 0-0 <coughs> draw against Hull City. The battle of the cities. Um. Yeah, I know, it was meant to be like this. Drop a like if you haven't already, by the way, guys. Much appreciated. Seven people watching now. How are you not beating Hall City at home? You should be beating Hall. You should be beating Hall City at home. But yeah, I thought when Dini come on, I thought he didn't really make an impact. He played that lovely pass through to um chong and then chong tried to play in hogan but it went behind him because hogan was not in position yeah yeah mate earlier stream i just thought you know it looked cool kid on tv 
seven yet. I mean, I'm not one of those people that, well, sometimes I actually do, to be honest, put a shirt on back to front without even knowing, which is kind of embarrassing, to be honest. I think Dini has to get up to match fitness. And that's why I kind of get I get it why Hogan started last night. I do get it. But there was not one point in that game where I thought it was gonna concede. I was confident even though that even when they had that spell in the second half where they tested our goalkeeper and got for our defence. What do you mean? I never like I am, I've never been this confident with a, a Blues team in a long time. Trust me, in a long time. It's our best start to a season in five years as well. I mean, we are making progress as a football club. And I'm just, you know, I'm buzzing for the next game. Bring on Fulham. I don't care if they're in the top two. We should be going into every single game full of confidence. No, it's a fan cam. It's not getting other people to do videos for me. It's called a fan cam. I've already done my match review. I did it last night. It's a difference, you know. There's a difference. I'm still going to be doing the videos and that. Yeah, it's all right, mate. It's all right. If you look, I did my, I did my review last night. and it's. Uh... Did anyone go to the game in the chat? I didn't. Yeah, it's all right. I, I didn't um, go to it. And I probably won't be going to the Fulham game, to be honest, either. Because it's just going to be impossible to go to, isn't it? Because the tickets are going to go like that. Which makes it, yeah, a bit annoying, to be honest. Because, yeah, we've had to wait, like, what is it, 18 months now? Even, probably even more. Yeah, there is, isn't there? We've only just started as well. I mean, um, just over 10 minutes. 10 people watching now. Drop a like and drop a sub, guys, if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts on the game yesterday. I was meant to do this last night, but, yeah. I just, yeah. I was just too tired, didn't it? It was a great win. The team must have plenty of confidence. We must have a chance against... Yeah, they lost to Blackpool. We, I think we've got a chance against anyone in the league. And do you know what? If we play the same way against Fulham, we can cause some problems and we can get something from that game. Simple as that. I think Fulham are going to be wary of our, you know, the threats that we pose. We, I mean, we're being recognised as a team that is a threat. Now we're we're not being recognised as like you know a team that you can just turn up and get three points and then go back home. We're a team that's hard to beat under Lee Boyer. And that is what I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season to see what we can actually do because it you know you never know you never know in football. From what I'm seeing, we can definitely get the playoffs. I've even put it on, I put it on Instagram post. We're getting playoffs. This is, this is my promise to you. There's no way that we don't make playoffs. Unless we have some mad injury crisis, then that's that. That's probably the... Or, yeah, that's probably the only way that we don't make the playoffs. Some mad injury crisis. By the way, Chong went down a couple of times. I mentioned it in my match review. I think, you know... Chong, it's like Eden Hazard, you know, when he was at Chelsea and kept getting fouled every single game over and over again. I think it's a similar situation. Obviously, Chong's not on the same level as Eden Hazard. But, when you know, he needs more protection. He's just getting took out. I mean, I think if it keeps if it keeps happening, yeah, I think he could, he could pick up an injury and be out for a long time. Yeah, I mean, if we beat Fulham... That'll be madness. I know Blackpool beat them, but that was their first loss of the season. Come on. Also, in Fulham, I've lost the same amount of games in the league this season. We've only lost one game in the league. One game out of out of six. What a start to the season. Our best start to a season since Gary Robert in 2016, 2017. But we all know what happened that season. We sat Robert. 
and then they're pointing to Zola. No, we're not we're not gonna be doing well. We're not obviously gonna be pointing Zola, but we're not gonna be sacking Lee Boyer in January or before this you know, before January. Not gonna happen. And it it can't be allowed to happen. I mean I thought I thought the owners were lucky in a way to get away with sacking Gary Rowett. But if they did if they did it with Lee Boyer, I think that would just be yeah, that. Well, I don't know. Would it be chaos? Hello, Birmingham Talk TV. Drop a like if you haven't already, mate. I think that starting Hogan over Jimmy was a decent choice, by though, because it made Hogan went to three. Yeah, that's what I was saying as well. That's what I was saying. Maybe he was um, doing that, starting Hogan instead of Deeney to get Hogan's confidence up and to you know make him deliver. Because under Cuenca last season, when it was just Jukovic and Hogan. By the way, I completely forgot to, for the next game, yeah, I completely forgot to mention this. Cosgrove scores 2-2 two two for Shrewsbury. And Jonathan Lecco scores on his debut for Charlton. But he couldn't score for us in 40 games. He scores on his debut for Charlton. What is it with players leaving the club and then flourishing at another club? Albeit it's League One, but still, still got to put the ball in the back of that, isn't it? Big up Lukaku as well. Villa got slapped three 0 Yeah, League One's probably his level, to be honest. Because he done well previously at Charlton, didn't he, as well? Yes, mate. Definitely. They got battered 3-0. Remember when all their fans were saying, like, oh, we, even though we've lost Greenish, we're going to get, like, European football top six and that. That's hilarious, that is. They've lost to Watford, Chelsea... Got a point against Brentford, went one 0 down in that game. I don't they only beat Newcastle, that's the only win the only win that they've got. Yeah, it's been four games. It's funny. No, I don't think they'll get relegated to be honest. It's gonna be Norwich. Norwich are gonna get what is the point by the way? I really wanted Arsenal to drop. What is the point about Norwich in the Premier League? They're just fans are in it. Complete banter. Well, obviously, you can't. Obviously, there's not going to be any fan cams now, is there? Because we nearly, you know, the game happened like nearly two days ago. I only got that one in because, yeah, I'm not doing one now because I just don't need to. And I'm plus I'm live. I'm not uploading anything. Should I? I'm not uploading anything. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the game. Um, did you meet any of the players after the game as well? Like get a selfie with them? I've not actually done that before. But... I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think they do. They stopped that a while ago, didn't they? Or is it... I don't know, I might be wrong on that. And I made it drop a like and drop a sub advance already. I don't know why sub mode is it... Sub mode only is not working, but there you go. Um, yeah, the Carling, Carling Cup vibes, I'll never forget them moments, you know, way we come back against West Ham, and the way that we just, you know, we wanted it more than Arsenal in a day. Yeah, 
Is it really? I never knew that. I never knew that, mate. Stroppy. No, not really. You just to stay in the office, aren't you? Right. Like, it's obvious, it's meant to be like this, you know. It's meant to be like this. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rooney wants to score. Do you remember when all their fans are getting, like, all gas when they beat us 4-0? Um, yeah, I know, I, I even put it in the comments. He actually, he predicted the score right as well, didn't he? Yeah, predicted it. I actually um what was I saying? Yeah. When we when they beat us four 0 all the comments saying enjoy League One they they're the ones that nearly got relegated and they'll probably get relegated this this season. Is it is just absolutely hilarious, you know. We beat them twice in a row. But it's weird, yeah. None of them come in the comments. None of them come in the comments. Oh that's weird. They don't come in the comments when they do. Okay. No, I didn't, you know. Wayne Rooney, I mean, he, he was a great player, but I don't think he can make it as a manager. I don't think he can make it as a manager. No way. He's just not good enough, is he? By the way, what is going on with Derby centre backs like Phil Jackie Elka? Phil Jackie, he's been going, he's been playing for like 20 years, I swear. I remember him at Sheffield United, 06 07 season. He did score a screamer in that game, though, to, well, in that season. Leco played amazing today. How oh, do you know? Did you watch the game, mate? One away from 1.6. I can't even, I can't even say, yeah, 1.47. There we go, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about there. Oh, we have, well, we actually have, we've actually hit. 1.47k. So we're only 30 subscribers away from 1.5k. 14 people watching. Hello guys, how are you doing? Um Yeah, so he, he even said before the game, didn't he? Like I swear he said something like we're not a different side with Troy Deeney. Or he basically it, like had a go at Troy Deeney, was firing shots at the Blues. That manager is just, yeah. I think Lee Bowyer would have a much, he's going to have a much better managerial career than um, Wayne Rooney. You think so? What, because it's done earlier, yeah, yeah. Hello, JC, drop a like, drop a sub, well, you already subbed on the one side, mate. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like he tries to like have a go at other teams, but look how I, I when they didn't get relegated last season, I was gutted, you know. Fair play to him for not walking out. Yeah, I mean, his, C his CV is going to be messed up, especially if he gets Derby relegated. But they should have been relegated last season. I don't know how they survived last season. The club have just posted on, the, on their Instagram, yes, Jonathan Lecco. Yes, well done, Jonathan Lecco. You can score in League One. It's not hard. Class Grove as well, scoring for Shrewsbury. Two and two. It's weird how players start scoring goals when they leave in it i don't know my prediction is well i don't think derby was sacking you know i don't think derby was sacking because they've basically got no money haven't they so they won't i mean they probably wouldn't be able to afford a manager anyway 
but I would be surprised. I mean, to be honest, they, I don't know, you know, because they've had a good start to the season, but I, I would still be surprised if they didn't get relegated, to be honest. I already have, like, I think Blackpool will survive, you know. I think Blackpool will survive. I think Peterborough will get relegated. It's going to be Peterborough. Peterborough are going to finish bottom. I know I didn't actually do predictions for this season. Peterborough bottom. No, no, it's, it's like Cranky, you know. I don't think Cranky would actually get a job. Maybe in some Spanish third division or something like that, but I don't think he's going to get a job in England again. The EFL neck I post about Birmingham. I don't know, on Instagram. Um, so, yeah, do you think Dean will start against Fulham? I don't know, I don't follow him, I don't think. I think, um, well, it's, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. Is he going to start Dean? Because... Hogan did score against uh, Derby. Yeah. He, like all managers to start out, they always use a club as a stepping stone, don't they? And it's, it's the same for players, really, as well. It's the same for players. And I think that's why... Guy Wright was sacked to use this as a stepping stone. I don't want Lee Bowie to use this as a stepping stone to move on to greater things. You know, I want him to step loyal to the club. Even if, if a Premier League club comes... Because, you know what? This is a scenario where I see playing out. If we continue this good run of form, and say, like, we're in November, halfway through November, pushing on to December, say, like... I don't know, sound like a Newcastle sat Steve Bruce or something a lot like that. Lebo, yeah. Could he go to a Premier League club? Or could a Premier League club try and get him? Because that, I think that if we if we're in the playoffs in like December. Yeah, I had a channel in twenty seventeen, yeah. Then I just can't see Lebo yet. I mean, I think he, I don't really think he's like Gary Rout, to be honest. I think he's loyal to the club. And I'm not saying Gary Rout wasn't, but. You think Bowyer could go to Leeds? Ex Leeds player as well? I watched you, did you? Yeah, that was a long time ago, to be honest. I wouldn't start Deeney. Yeah, and he didn't really look match match fit, did he? Didn't really look up to sharpness against Derby, because you you saw like Yukovic and Ogun chasing down the goalkeeper and that, but I don't know. He just, I mean, he hasn't played a, a game in a long time, has he? I know he's had a, you know, we've had the international break. But when's the last time he actually played a competitive game? Um, well, vlogs are out the window because of circumstances. Um, watch longs I don't do. The phone cams, I'm trying to, you know, move that on, push that on. But yeah, I mean, COVID's ruined everything, hasn't it? Because so, I was legit meant to... I was meant to go to a Stoke game, couldn't go because the tickets were cancelled. Meant to go, well, I wasn't meant to go to the Derby game, but I just knew that there was no chance in hell that I could get a ticket. There was no chance in hell. I think you'll start Yuki and Hogan again. Yeah. 
To be honest, Hogan's actually well, he's scored three now, isn't it? How many did Hogan score last season? He scored about was it seven? Or was it did he get double digits? Trust me, he, he, he misses a sitter every game. At least misses one sitter every game. Oh, are you kidding me, really? That beeping, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I'm definitely going to be getting a new laptop in the near future, so. It's easy not to. No, I, want, I want this to be, a, I want to see this being a long term thing you know I, w I want to see Lee Bowie at the club long term because when Lee Bowie if Lee Bowie just goes to like a club in the Premier League then that one's going to hit get a step back I believe this this group of players can do bits but under Cranker they just didn't show that did they I don't know why the players like because I don't know why the players didn't play for Cranky, you know. Because they did at the start. We beat Brentford 1 0. We got a good away point against Swansea and then got that draw again. We wasn't beating the first couple of games and it all, all fell apart. All fell apart. Then we couldn't win a home. I think we couldn't win a game at home. It was like the Lee Clark season. It was like the Lee Clark season. So. When Bowie goes, hopefully we can find someone. Yeah, but it's going to be hard, isn't it? We can't just keep, we can't just keep a manager for one or two seasons and then let him, and then let him go. We need a long term plan. It. We need a long term plan. Do you think Bowie is going to leave the club? There, I mean, if we get if we lose in the playoffs, for instance. Hello, Birmingham Talk TV again. Also, drop a like. Jeez, Juventus lost again. Who needs Ronaldo, eh? Um, so, yeah, drop a like and drop a sub if you haven't already. Half an hour into this um, aftermath chat. The next one will probably be Tuesday, when Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, yeah. But I don't know where like some people that some people always come onto the streams. I don't know where they are to be honest. It it must be more than five thousand to one. Probably not though. Can I even look this up? It must be more than 5,000 to 1 when Leicester won the league, surely. Yeah, do you... I think there definitely will be clubs slipping around. Not even in... I mean, we could get clubs in the championship trying to pinch in from us. Probably, yeah. Uh, well, I did schedule it. I don't know if it's going to come up here when I, when I type this in. Well, Arsenal. Apparently, Arsenal are the third favourites to be relegated. Oh, God. They're getting all hyped, aren't they? Because they beat Norwich. Hilarious fan base. Absolute banter, fan base. I wanted to watch Arsenal fun and chill, you know. I mean, the scenes, if they would have beat, if they, if, um, they would have lost to Norwich, I would have been, you know, laughing my, laughing my head off. Would you ever eat a bat?
been live for 35 minutes already. Wow. I think this has actually been a good stream, though. Maybe I might do it like 8.40ish next time. You need to get a balance more, don't you? But certain days, like, it's different, isn't it? Certain days, you know, the people are doing different stuff, so. But I think it will work out, you know. you just got to... I've only just started doing these streams in it, so. Just, just got to keep commit, keep being committed in it. Keep being committed. Um, Sheffield United scored six against Peterborough. We beat Sheffield United one then away from home. Blues played Peterborough next Saturday. I think we could do. I don't think. We're in a, I don't think we've got that mentality where we find it hard to break teams down and we're, we're, you know, we're under pressure and that. Because even in the guy route, that was the case. Even in the guy route, that was the case, wasn't it? But we could beat the big teams and then slip up. I mean, it happened throughout his tenure, to be honest. Just keep slipping up. And then we would miraculously just beat a team that we're not expected to beat. <laughs> Literally. So we'll just lose to like, oh, I don't know, I wouldn't lose the Oval, that's an example. Basically lose to a really crap team and then um, beat a really good team after very inconsistent club we've always been an inconsistent club to be honest oh i'm going to do one again like i said for those that didn't uh, for those that have i don't know i've literally had two hours sleep i've been up watching the tennis because the the times in america are just crazy you know absolutely crazy the game finished like four or five in the morning and then i couldn't get to sleep i had two hours sleep i fell asleep midway through the match and now i'm probably gonna i don't know what the hell i don't know when i'm going to bed but i'm not going over an hour in the stream i didn't even think i was going to do an hour but completely knackered especially tonight you can see me always yawning on the streams but Especially in tonight's one, Matt. <sighs> so yeah, um, I think there's a definitely a benefit doing it a bit earlier. I was watching a tennis man, isn't it? Wait, you packed Neymar ninety nine twice. Yeah, and because it, the games are in America. To be honest, it is the end of the game, though, so you try and pack him at the start of FIFA 22. By the way, FIFA 22, I'm running out of time to get a PS5. Someone please help me out. I, I, if someone, like, can, if someone can find a website out that sells PS5s, I'll be, I'll be grateful, because I need to get... Well, I'm not into boxing, mate, to be honest. I don't know, Fury, probably. But I'm, I'm not into boxing. I watch a KSI Logan Paul fight and that, but that's because, you know, it's a massive media event, wasn't it?
and it was a uh, two heavyweight. Well, I don't know why I actually watched that. To be honest, I paid actual money to watch it. Paid actual money. By the way. I'm going to be ending it here, guys. I'm absolutely shattered. I know I said I was going to do an hour, but anyway, I'm, I'll be back maybe tomorrow, if not Monday or Tuesday. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, share, and subscribe. Be bright on.